there's not enough liquidity for everyone's assets. So when you, when you break it down like that, is money actually real? Like, honestly, honestly, though, like if, 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 like if we all went to the bank and everyone did a bank run, money would just cease to exist. It just wouldn't exist. So if you can just, if the government can just print the money and it's just ones and zeros in a computer, just, just give people money then. Modern, money, once we stopped using gold and silver coins, you know, doubloons and stuff like God, that. I, I could talk about money, this with Nixon in the 70s forever. Come on, please continue. <laughs> money, money became, money and credit became inextricably linked. Money is right. credit. Right. Ba- banks, in a way, create money because what they do is they only have to keep a certain fraction on uh, on reserve. That may have to change. That may have to go up. We'll see about that. Right. But what? But what? You know, I forget what the exact rate is, and I'll just use ten percent as a, as an example. But so you you and I give the bank a hundred thousand dollars. They can actually then lend out a million dollars if someone will let them. If someone will, and so. And so the banks actually create the money Mm -hmm. under the auspices of the Federal Reserve um, and the Treasury and the controller of the currency and all the other various, you know, you know, three and four letter agencies that they report to. Um, But the banks are the ones that create money. It's all a system of credit. And so it is, so everybody does have to, there, there is a certain element of trust out there um, that, that involves, that involves the monetary system. You know, it's and so, yeah, it's because it's inside, it's, it's interesting to say it's a level, a, a credit, you use the word credit. I would use the word debt, right? This con- this country is run on debt and who owes money to who? Well, one person's debt is one it's person's, you know, one, one yeah. person's debit is one person's credit. Uh-huh. I mean, that's, again, we're <laughs> going to go back to the basic accounting thing, you know, um, my, you know, my asset is, but basically, you know, in the, ca- in the case of banking, someone's asset is someone's liability. That's why you have to net out right. the assets and the liabilities. Um, but the problem is, again, not all the, not there, you have a miss where, where you fall into problems with banks is you have this mismatch of assets and liabilities, the the the, the, the liabilities, um, the liabilities are are, you know, in theory, anyone can go into the bank and demand all their money on any given day. It it only works because everybody doesn't do that because yeah. everybody has some faith in the in the banking system. Um, but yeah, you're right. If every and that was that was really the root of the Great Depression was was the banks the banks got way out over their skis. There wasn't a lot of regulation, and people would run to the bank. You know, you get bank runs, and one would you know, and it would be like dominoes falling. And when that happens, because the banks created the money to to a large extent, right? You know, you this our hundred thousand becomes a million circulating out there well the flip side is when the bank when there's a bank run the money disappears and so you have this monetary shrinkage and so i think that's you know that's going to be another interesting little feature because you didn't lose the deposits the deposit nature of the bank didn't didn't deflate away but basically all the all the equity holders are, are looking at potentially zero and all the bond holders are looking at a big haircut well that's a lot of money that just vanished that those are someone's assets that no longer that are at best impaired, at worst vaporized. So, but where where, of, where'd it go? Right, it's got to go somewhere. Like if it just if the hundred, if hundred billion dollars just disappears, it's got to go. Some someone has to have it. It's got to be. It just it's just gone. Just in the ether. It's gone. It's gone. But where'd it go? Know, it, it vanished. I know that that's the crazy part of it because because it didn't really exist in the first place. That's because my it was, point. That, there it is. <laughs> there it is, Steve. The money didn't exist in the first place. It, it, it exists just one it exists zeros. Be, it, it exists because we because, all agree it exists, right? Exact. Boom. That's exactly what I was going to say. It exists because we agree it exists. It agree, it exists because we we believe in the system that allows it to exist. So the market um, truly but, runs on confidence. Like it. That's that's it. Absolutely. The market only absolutely. runs on. You know what, Steve? I would prefer a market that runs on money <laughs> instead of just confidence. But money is con- but money but the the no, money is money. System money, money is, is money. Money is a physical thing here. I got my wallet here. You know no, right. it's not. It's no, money, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not because it's, it's a piece of paper. It's not. No, you're, it's you're the, right. It's, it's a piece of paper. It's the promise. It's, it's the, the promise value. That, yes. You know what? You're right. Damn it. It's not. The only, you know, money is, you know, it, it you, you know, we, money realistically is basically, if you want to go back to the root of it, it's a system of barter. I've got, you know, I, I, I'm growing, I'm growing tomatoes yep. in my backyard and I'll trade them with you for, 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 for. Dig this hole for me. Yeah. 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 Or whatever. Build, build this window for, for me. Yeah. For some, you know, for some system. goods or some services. Mm-hmm. 
in reality, that's a very inefficient way to run things. So money existed. The original forms of money were gold and gold silver. Coins, why yeah, gold coins. Why gold and silver? What's the inherent value? What, you know, shiny. yes, gold. No, yes, shiny. gold. But, uh, gold but again, utility. it's because we all agreed this gold piece equals this. Exactly. Gold gold has gold has inherent value. It's a good conductor of electricity. Not yep. that it mattered to, to people then. It's shiny. It's not it's not all that plentiful. It's it's malleable. And so it became the the instrument of currency. Obviously, there wasn't enough gold around to do all your transactions. And that's a silver was a was more plentiful and, and had many of those qualities. And so that became a, a means of exchange. We, you know, it, it could have been anything, but even there, that's right. that's because everybody agreed to accept gold and silver coins in exchange for all these things. It then morphed into, you know, it then morphed into, you know, to a credit-based banking system, credit and debit-based banking system. But it's it's all it short of short of like trading actual goods and services, you know, at, at an individual level. You, you need some, everybody's got to agree that this form of, that this medium of exchange has value. You know, Steve, I'm glad, I'm glad you don't want to kind of blow my mind on that one, right? Because I, I, I was, I'm a big, big fan of gold. You know, I wish we would go back on the gold standard because money was actually more valuable back then. Um, but to your point, you know, it only, it's, it's the same thing. It runs on the confidence. It only, gold is only worth that much because we have a system in place to make sure we all agree it was worth that much. Exactly. Damn, you know right. What? I mean, we, we, we look, we can look, we can there, there, you know, you can check the price of a, of, of an ounce of gold, but again, th that price of the ounce of gold is in exchange for dollars or, or yen or whatever right. else. So even there, you know, and that, so even there people, because people aren't going, because you're not going to, you know, the bodega and buying a soda with a gold coin, you know, if you hold gold, you still will to, for practicality sake, you're going to convert it back to some other currency that's generally accepted um, as a means of exchange so the, and your hope is your hope is that the gold that the gold can that you own can be exchanged for more dollars or yen or whatever sometime down the road 